Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm here today in Austin at uh, Black's Barbecue, the original Black's Barbecue. Let's not get it confused with Terry Black's Barbecue, which is in downtown Austin. Okay, this is Black's, the original Black's Barbecue that's over here off of Guadalupe, but still in Austin. And the reason why I say don't get it confused, the two restaurants had a little feud going on. I don't know if it's still going on with the name. All right. Uh, Black's original, they did a cease and decease um, order on Terry Black's uh, barbecue restaurant because of the name. All right. You can Google it, check it out, get that information for yourself. But today I'm at Black's original Black's barbecue in Austin. And I also have a video where I'm also at Terry Black's uh, barbecue uh, in downtown Austin. So be sure to check that video out also. Yeah, let me get the banana pudding. Let me get a, a small. Okay. Ice cream in the house. Okay. You say ice cream is on the house? Yeah, no, yes. Yeah. It's for that brisket. You say it's on the house? Yeah, uh, yes. Ice cream, the banana, for the pudding and the uh, brisket. Uh huh. Okay. You say you put it on the brisket? Yeah. Put ice cream on no, the brisket? The, uh, the ice cream? Oh, on the ice cream. And you say that's on the house? Yes. Yeah. Well. Okay. It's free? No. Oh, no, not free. Sorry. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. I'm going to try that. Okay. Okay. Matter of fact, I'm going to try that instead of the banana pudding. Oh, I'm going to try this instead of that. Oh, okay. Well, you can take this. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take this. What that giant beef rib look like? Uh, pretty big. It's okay. like... I'll show you in a second. Okay. Here. Okay. This guy's, I think, a pound and a third. Yeah. Pound and a third. Okay, that's that's what I'm taking. Okay. All right. Three. Three sort of roll beef, six and a half You can do those here. So I ordered the giant beef rib. Uh, very moist, very meaty. Can't wait to dig into it. I also ordered the macaroni and cheese. Wasn't too crazy about the macaroni and cheese at all. It's not baked. It was okay. Um, I probably wouldn't get it again if I come back to this restaurant. I also ordered the pecan cobbler. As well as the brisket combined with vanilla ice cream. House vanilla ice cream with brisket. I went ahead and tried the, the vanilla ice cream with the brisket first because I didn't want it to uh, melt. And to be honest with you, it was okay. I wasn't really impressed with it. I probably wouldn't order it again. Um, you know, you can try it and see if you like it, but I really wasn't a big fan of this uh, vanilla ice cream with the brisket um, combined uh, together. This combination of ice cream and brisket. So now let's go ahead and try this meat out. Uh, I started out trying to cut it with the knife. Um, didn't work out too well. On this particular piece right here, you can see that, uh, that it's a lot of fat on this particular piece. But to be honest with you, that was the only part of this rib that was fatty. So I tried cutting it again, cutting it into the meat. Uh, it was very uh, tender, very moist. It actually was fall off the bone. Okay. So I dipped it. Here I am dipping it into some of that barbecue sauce. And with the barbecue sauce, oh man, this is on point. <laughs> barbecue sauce with the meat, this tender meat with the barbecue sauce. Oh man, it's, it's fire. It's really fire. My wife wanna taste my meat. But she don't wanna be in the camera. So I'm gonna let her taste it off camera. So I'm going to quit dog on acting bougie and I'm going to take this dog on barbecue sauce and just put it on top of the rib and I'm just going to eat it from the hand. I'm not going to be cutting anything uh, with the knife anymore. Here we go. Let's go ahead and bite into it. Man, this dog on giant beef rib is juicy. It's moist. It's tender. That dog on sauce on top of the rib. It's really just, I mean, it's fire. I don't know. No other way to explain it to you. It that barbecue sauce with the meat and the tenderness and 
There's hardly no fat on this doggone rib at all. I really enjoyed it. So I'll put some more sauce on here and let's go ahead and we're going to dig into this some more. Man, I'm telling you, it is like a celebration to the mouth with this doggone beef rib. This beef rib is fire. It's on point. If you ever get to Black's Barbecue, make sure you check it out. Now, I wasn't too crazy about this pecan cobbler. To me, it was a little bit too sweet. It was like diabetes <laughs> waiting to get you. I mean, it was okay, but uh, it would be a dish I probably won't order again. Now, this doggone vanilla ice cream with the brisket inside probably be a thumbs down for me also. Probably won't order this dish here again either. But overall, I would give this meal a 7. I would give this meal a 7. So with that, this is still your food delivery junkie. I'm out. All I want is just to get paid. I know I ain't ashamed. I'm trying to make a wage now. Money, 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 money. Makes the world go round. I need money, 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 money. Money got me feeling down. They said I'd go and chase the dreams. They never told me that I have to wake up. Cause now it's like 55 quid for my phone bill And a tether for my bus pass too